Hello everyone and welcome to Camping with Lenny. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 camping accessories. This episode is brought to you by me, Camping with Lenny. Help me create great content by supporting this podcast by buying me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash campinglenny. Thanks for your support. Camping accessories is very personal. It depending on a person who's going camping with you or depending on who you are, accessories will make your life a lot easier when you go camping. So I'm going to give you my top 10 accessories that I bring with me during camping. This is going to be no particular order. Um, this list is from my own list. I just want to share this with you guys so you guys can think about it going forward of what kind of accessories for your next camping trip that might help you especially if you're the first time going going camping by yourself, right? So number 10, Tilly T3 Wanderer hat. It's a brim style hat. It's uh, it's designed as uh, as as a hat for boaters and travelers. I use this kind of hat because of um because of the brim itself because the brim itself is thick, like pretty long, but it's it's designed to take to get the sun out of your eyes, protect the back of your head. Plus if it gets um, too hot, you can actually put the f- flap up and and just attach it to the to the rim of uh, not the rim, but the top part of your hat. It's almost like an Aussie style hat. You see that a lot in movies, especially in Crocodile Dundee. Everything flips upwards this way. And yeah, it's designed for uh, sailing, but uh, more and more people using this kind of hat uh, going camping because it's very, very comfortable. It, again, protects your head from the sun. And at the same time, if you are s- sweating or let's say... Um, sunny or too it's getting too hot there's actually a foam insert that you can take and actually soak it and put it in so it just keeps the top of your head pretty cool during the summer so i haven't tried that yet but overall i'm very very happy with this hat i used it during the summer from all the way from going to the beach to uh to playing catch or whatever i used that hat because it's very very comfortable Okay, um, number nine is my wakoka kapamoka portable pour over coffee maker Yes, pour over coffee maker. This is okay. Originally, I bought this coffee maker, this pour over system for camping. But lately, I've been using this as my day to day coffee mug. Even if I'm just resting at home, I literally use that mug because it's very, very very good mug uh keeps the your keeps, keeps my coffee warm uh, and at the same time too it's easy to clean very portable and also it's actually part of my coffee maker bag i do have an everyday carry for coffee oh uh, well i'll do a video on that one in the future but uh no it's a great uh it's a great uh system that uh you have a coffee mug okay with a lid plus the pour over system that actually screws in you can put your grinds in there and your filter pour your water in there it will act like a normal pour over but uh yeah it comes with a um with a with a scoop of, a scoop for your coffee so it's uh pretty pretty neat to have um again it's uh, it's it's my go-to coffee mug now I have a lot of coffee mugs and this is my go-to now, so go figure, right? Uh, number eight is a Letterman Wave. Not Wave 2, the original Wave. Um, I bought this multi-tool about 10 years ago or longer. And um, yeah, I bought this tool for work mostly. And uh, next thing you know, I've been using it for camping and uh, it's a great multi-tool. It's one of my favorite multi-tools I ever used. It's so good. I actually got my wife one as well, too, uh, for her work. And uh, when she goes camping with me as well, it's a, it's a great multi-tool. It has has everything you need from files to, to mini saw to knife to scissors to you name it. It has everything in it, including a screw. Uh, screwdriver as well so it's a very versatile um uh, multi-tool that i carry with me all the time i don't put it in my belt but i just put it um around me just it's it's easy to grab and use it if you need to okay so the number seven uh it's the jackery explorer 240 power bank including one solar saga 100 watt solar panel 
Yes, I bought them both at the same time. I consider it as one line item because I don't. I carry the the power charger plus the solar panels, and uh, I, I have both of them all the time with me, especially going camping. The reason why I have a 240 instead of the 1000 watt one or anything smaller or anything in between because um, I went for the portability and the power requirements I need to run a three day camping trip. And uh, that includes running my camera for camping, my podcasting equipment, charging my phone, my watch, uh, you name it. I have uh, batteries. I, I go through batteries a lot for the camera and through the, and the podcasting equipment. Um, with that, I can run um, everything I need to run for three days. So it's the, the 240, 240 watt uh, per hour um battery pack and it works really well and it's one of my favorite ones and it's very small and portable again i went for, went i went with the portability and and the usability of it so it has to find a nice ratio of size versus power and portability so the 240 worked out very very well with me for me number six is the garmin four track 601 it is a gps uh, risk attach it's a risk gps system you attach it to your wrist or attach it to your clothing or whatever with a carabiner uh, the reason why i got that instead of the edge uh, instead of the uh, the montana or 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 the track one or even the the in, in reach one i got that one for two reasons one is uh track my my coordination my coordinates second is to to be honest with you, I just use a very expensive barometer um, because when you go camping, um, you don't know the temperature. So if you if your barometer goes up, that means there's a storm coming in. So it gives you an idea temp uh, pressure wise if the storm is coming. Also, it actually gives me a, a heads up of uh, everything from sunrise, sunset, anything like that. So it works out really well. Plus, if I turn on the tracking, it can track me. If I decide to go uh, out and about, at least I know exactly where I am. If there's an emergency, I can just call that ahead so they can find me pretty easily. So um, I'm not in, I'm not doing backcountry right now. So that's why I haven't got an inReach, um, Garmin inReach. But if I start doing that, I'll start considering getting an inReach system. But uh, so far, the, the Ford Track 601 works very well. I'm very happy with it. Okay, number five. This is the Thermocell Backpack Mosquito Repellent, uh, Generation 2, Gen 2. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of Thermocell before, they're actually a pretty cool company. They use um, bioethanol, oh, sorry, not bioethanol, um, uh, butane to, to heat up a uh, and coil that heats up in turn heats up a pad that pad releases um a deet uh, in the air so mosquitoes will just going to be leaving you alone they do have several version ones the rechargeable battery rechargeable plug-in ones and the other one is the smaller uh, butane ones um i got the the one that actually attached straight into a butane tank and i used that one and it works really well and to be honest with you guys since i got this one at the beginning of this year I knock on wood, I haven't used any bug spray since I started using this one. And I'm loving it. I take this thing with me all the time. Every time I, if I go to the beach, I bring it with me. If I go to a picnic, I bring this with me. It's one of my go-to items that I always have with me when I'm doing something outdoors. Because again, you have mosquitoes, you don't want to be bitten by mosquitoes. And I use this instead of like, um, like spray. Because uh, you don't want to contend with bug spray before you go to bed. It's just too much. It's just hassle. In other words, there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things you have to do before you go to bed, and you just want to not worry about that deet in your skin. But uh, yeah, no, the thermocell is one of my favorite items um, that I can't live home without it when I go camping. Okay, number four. This is gonna sound pretty weird, but this is my go-to one. It is the Keen. Rapid sandals for hiking and water sports. It's a, uh, if you guys seen the Keen uh, um, uh, sandals before, it's actually pretty neat. It has a toe cap in it, so if you're walking, it's not going to ruin your toes. It's pretty secure in your foot. It's very versatile. People hike with it. People go swimming with it. People go do water sports with it. And, and yeah, it's great. The uh, reason why I like this, uh, this rapid sandal one, because you can go hiking with it. The threads are pretty good for hiking, straight walking. And also, if you're going fishing or swimming or doing anything that's uh, um, 
um, like uh, kayaking, for example, this shoes is great uh, because it, it works in both ways. Also, one thing that I really like about this one is actually if you, at the back part of the shoe, there's a Velcro. You can actually take the Velcro out and be, it, then the whole sandals becomes a slip on sandals. I know, right? <laughs> I got this one because I like the versatility. If I'm not doing any hiking or any work sports, I remove the, the Velcro at the back of the left foot and I, it becomes my, my slip on uh, sandals uh, for the camping, for camping. I don't have to worry about putting shoes on. I don't have to worry about flip flops. It's just put your feet in, take it out pretty easy in and out. It works really, really well. I believe I have the version one. There is a version two now out there. I still have version one. It's working perfectly. I'm not going to bother replacing that until I break it. So, so yeah, that's the Keen Rapid Sandal for hiking and water sport. Okay. So number three, this again, this is actually, actually, no, I want to go back to the Keen one first. Uh, this is not the coolest thing to admit, but I'm going to admit it to you guys. Sometimes I wear socks with my keen sandals during camping. The reason why I'm openly admitting this is because you don't know how it feels when you wear socks with your sandals in camping. Because you want the convenience of sandals, right? Especially the slip-on ones, but you want the warmth of a sock. I suggest you guys try it especially your next camping trip or you, or even you, if you're just walking in the backyard put on your sandals and put on your socks your feet will be amazed how comfortable it is now i can actually understand i can i can say i can actually I honestly say to people who does sandals and socks i understand i really do understand now okay Number three, again, this is, sounds kind of weird too, but uh, it does makes my life a lot easier, especially camping. It is the Go, uh, I think I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong, is the Gohan's Egg Holder, 12 Egg Holder. Yes, it is an egg holder. It's one of those things that you see in, in store that has 12 or 6. You put your egg in this uh, plastic um, holder. It keeps your egg not breaking while you're camping or transporting it. The reason why I add this as part of my go my essential accessories that I want to talk about the, about this in this episode, because without it, I will not have eggs during my camping. And I love eggs. And that thing keeps my eggs solidly formed and not cracking. Make fun of me right now. As soon as you get one of those, you can't live without them. Okay. Number two. Okay, number two is the Lululemon yoga mat, five millimeter uh, thickness and a rubber, it's a rubber yoga mat. Reason why I have a yoga mat in my camping is very simple. After you set up your tent with your cot or with your, uh, with, uh, with, with your sleeping bag on the floor or anything like that, you want to walk around your tent. Sometimes there's... Uh, Sometimes you just want to walk around in a soft padded floor. To achieve that, it's a yoga mat. Yoga mat is great, especially you if you have a cot or if you, especially if you're sitting up in the middle of the night and you accidentally forgot to remove a piece of um, of a rock or a piece of wood underneath your tent. It's in the middle of your tent. You're standing up. Every time you walk around, that wood's always there. And you have now you have a yoga mat. When you walk around, your feet will thank you. I always carry one since the beginning of this year. And i letting you right now, I will never leave home without a yoga mat when I go camping. It's one of those glamping accessories that no one really wants to carry. But as soon as you carry one, you'd be like, yeah, this is the best. Awesome. So, okay. Number one accessory that I can live home without when I go camping, very essential for me, is the Zip Kickstart Fire Starter. It's a fire starter. It's literally just a simple um, uh, wax and uh, fiber um, combination fire starter. You put it in the middle of your uh, fire, uh, fire pile. You start putting it, start building your fire piles, 
put that in the middle start that up it will just make your fire starting a lot faster a lot easier no issues of um, not burning properly it just works really well um, I know in Canada you can get them in Canadian Tire pretty easily. I use two of them, uh, especially if I want a very hot fire, and I got tons of wood. I use two of them, burn that up pretty easily. If you have charcoal, start that up, put that around your your charcoal. It will work perfectly. It works so well that uh, that zip. If you're willing to sponsor me or sponsor this channel, I'm definitely going to be recommending this one right now. I am recommending as far as my accessories. I really do like it. I really, really do like that product. So if you, in other words, if you, if you're looking for an accessory that, um, that, uh, helps your camping experience a lot better, do your research, look at other channels, look at other uh, lists out there, but look at what, look at what you normally carry with you when you go to a trip. Right. If you need a piece of headphones to make your life a lot easier to climb for the first time, bring it with you. Right. If you have a piece of um, um, technology that you always have with you when you go camping, bring it with you because essentially camping is there for you to escape. But at the same time, you don't want to escape with your creature without your crisp, without your uh, without your technology or with, with your accessories that you makes your life a lot easier. Eventually, you'll wither that down to a very small list. Um, I'm still doing it. I'm still trying to wither it down even more. But at the end of the day, camping is camping. You can't enjoy camping if you're trying to struggle, trying to figure out what to do. It might as well have something that makes you feel at home. And that's what you need. What I'll also do is I'm going to leave the links in the description for all the items that I talked about today. Also, if you have any questions, definitely drop me a line at campingwithlane.com. There you'll find this episode and just leave your comments there as well, too, because I definitely want to hear from you guys. I definitely recommend you guys um, make a list and um, and use that list as your starting point when you go camping for your first time and uh, and start making that uh, make that smaller. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, consider supporting this podcast by buying me a cup of coffee. Link in the description. You can also visit campingwithlenny.com. There you can find other episodes and links that can help you on your next camping adventures. Thanks again.